morning students in last class we discussed about the structure of functional of the mitochondria and lysosomes now we are going to discuss another important organ of the the cell plasmids so plasmids are the organelles of the cell that are usually found in plants as well as algae these are found in plant cell and algae so so in plant cells as well as algae so the plastics are found so you can observe the structure and type and function of the plastics so based on that you can see that the different types of plastic plastics are found in the cell so what are they usually these are of four types how many types are there four types of plastics are there number 1 chloroplast chromoplast germinoplast lipoplast so these are the different types of plastics that are usually found in plant cell now we are going to discuss these four types of plastics and their function first chloroplast so what is chloroplast how many it is found so chloroplast it is found in mesophyll cells of the plant cell so it is found in mesophyll in mesophyll of a plant cell it is in cytoplasm it is found so in generally in case of animal cell you have seen that mitochondria is essentially for what purpose it is essential already we have discussed yesterday as as we know that mitochondria is essential in synthesis of energy that is energy production process it is essential but in case of plant cell the mitochondria is not present instead of mitochondria what we have is these plastics that is the chloroplast which is found in chlorophyll helps in the synthesis of energy that is the important function these are found in mesophyll so if you observe that chloroplast is essential for food production in plants and the food production process in plants is called as photosynthesis from third class we are learning what is photosynthesis so very important concept in plants that is photosynthesis so here photo means what not our picture photo means here light what is synthesis means using light they make things together all things are made together that is synthesis so what is happening here under photosynthesis process we are discussing now so what is photosynthesis the process in which green plants what plants green plants so in the presence of in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and the chlorophyll by using carbon dioxide and water what they are using to do now prepares the food and stores in the form of starch so prepares the food that is starch and this process is called as a photosynthesis so what is photosynthesis means green plants in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll by using carbon dioxide and water molecule they prepare their own food and stores in the form of starch the complex sugar substance that is stored by the plants and that process is called as photosynthesis so simply you can so what is essential by using carbon dioxide according chemical equation for photosynthesis so by using carbon dioxide and water molecule 
and what is present here sunlight and chlorophyll what they are usually producing here starch and water molecule is released and also oxygen also released so in this way this is the water starch or sugar compound which is formed during photosynthesis that is usually occurring in chloroplast understand so what is photosynthesis well it's a chemical equation so now we are going to discuss about structure of the chloroplast so what is the structure of the chloroplast consisting of so if you observe the structure of the chloroplast observe the structure of the chloroplast it is membrane bound organelles it is membrane bound organelle and which is consisting of two membrane that is outer membrane and inner membrane if you take the structure of the chloroplast so it is a outer membrane it is membrane membranous organ it is a outer membrane so inner membrane consisting of the watery substance is called as matrix watery matrix watery substance which is found in the chloroplast what it is called matrix or stroma what it is called stroma so in the stroma it consisting of some flatted sac like structure what it is consisting of flatted sac like structure so these flat sac like structures that are usually found in the stroma they are called as thylakoid what do they are called thylakoid what do they are called thylakoids now these thylakoids all together arranged one above one one above one just like arranging of coins how we used to arrange coins one above one like that we are making a pile of coins here also a pile is of thylakoids so thylakoids are these type of thylakoids they are all arranged one above one this appears like arrangement of coins on one of one above one this kind of arrangement of thylakoids that structure is called as a granum or granum what it is called granum so these are structures granum the pod one sac is called as a thylakoid single one only single structure this single part is called as thylakoid all the thylakoids arrangement of one above one that structure is called as a what does it called granum granum so all the grana are attached one linked one by one by means of thread like structure called as lamina so lamina is helps in connecting of these all thylakoids so in this way we can see that chloroplast which is found in the leaf is essential in the synthesis of food so this is lamina which is connecting the thylakoid membrane understand so in this way we can see that the chloroplast is consisting of a double membrane structure and which is consisting of thylakoids all the thylakoids are arranged one above one like arranging coin piles of coin and that structure is called as a granum and if all these granum are connected by means of a another structure thread like structure which is appearing it is called as lamina so in this way the structure is going to be observed that is chloroplast now another important type of chloroplast that is already known seen that what is that 
chromoplast chromo means color so chromoplast means color chrome chromoplast so these are usually found in flowers and fruits flowers and that's why we can see the colorful in fruits and flowers and what is the use of these chloroplast so these chloroplasts are form of nothing but another type of plastics which are mainly carrying of pollination why it is because of this attractable color of the flowers as well as fruits that helps in attraction of pollinating agents like birds or animals or human beings or insects whatever it is attracted towards the flower because of their color this color of the fruits and flower is because of this chromoplast this helps in carrying out carry out pollination that is a important function of chloroplast chromoplast and another important is germoplast so germoplast is nothing but for its suppose when there is no sunlight available to the plant, to the plant they do not allow to carry out the photosynthesis if it is continuously the plants do not carry out photosynthesis what is happening here the chloroplast which is found in the leaf they used to convert it into germoplast so in case of there is no synthesis of food or if there is no photosynthesis is occurring in any leaf for a long period of time the chloroplast is usually converted into germoplast that is a the germoplast another type and next one is leucoplast so leucoplast is nothing but leuco means colorless or uh, that is simply means a white so these leucoplast so these are called as storage house of the cell of plant so these are the storage house storage house of the plant that is leaf so these are usually stores like starch proteins and fats these are the three substances which are produced by the plant they are usually stored in these leucoplasts so based on the storage function storage property the leucocytes are three types if they are used to store starch they are called as amyloplasts amyloplasts that are usually stores the starch substance and if these stores the proteins they are called as protein proteinoplast what do they are called proteinoplast that stores proteins and if it is fats so fats are stored in leucoplast these are the different types of leucoplast which are found in plant that helps to store the food which is prepared by the plant by means of the process is called as photosynthesis which is going to be occur in chloroplast in this way we can see the different types of plastids are found if you see that the plastids and mitochondria they are somewhat showing that variation in their function but some day they are showing similarities also so if you observe the structure the some of the similarities and dissimilarities in between the dna sorry the mitochondria and the plastids so some are similarities is there so what is the differences in between mitochondria and plastids so if you observe the mitochondria these are generally as we have seen the found these are found in animal cells that is what and these are found in plant cells is it or not now so what is the use of mitochondria as we know that they helps in production of energy that is 
ATP is synthesized, which is called as uh, the storage, that is emergency currency of the cell. ATP what is called? Emergency currency. So emergency currency means what? Whenever we require it, we use it. That is ATP. That is what storage of energy in mitochondria is occurred. Whereas in case of plastics, they used to synthesize glucose. Glucose is synthesized and it is stored in the form of starch. That is going to be occurring in plastics. Next. So what is the main process? The purpose of the mitochondria, they helps in respiration. Respiration helps. What is the respiration means? Production of energy. And what is the function of here is photosynthesis. So what is happening here? This helps to break down the substances to produce energy. Here they collect all substances and prepares their food particles. Food is stored here. Here food is break down to give out energy. These are the small substances, small organisms. These are some water, larger organisms. This is, you can see that the differences in between the function of a mitochondria and plastics. Why we have compared because of? So these are present in animal cells, but these are not present in the animal cell. And these are helps in synthesis of energy and which is stored in the form of adenosine triphosphate and which is called as a emergency currency. What it is called? Emergency currency of cell ATP. And they usually produce energy that is glucose is produced, that is food is produced and is stored in form of starch. It carry out respiration, it carry out photosynthesis. These are usually small in size, these are called large in size. In this way we can see that differences in between mitochondria and plastics.